Hi, this is Abdullah Galal, and this is the video number seven in the product costing of manufactured items. Today, I'm going to start a complete SAP S4HANA demo for the product cost planning process. This demo will be on SAP GOI and also on SAP Fury interfaces. Now, before you start watching this demo, I always recommend that you completely understand the business process. To do this, you can watch the other videos that I have posted in the product costing of manufactured items playlist. I'm going to leave you a link on the YouTube video here where you can check the other videos. Now, this is very important that you understand the business process before checking the SAP system. This demo is going to include everything that I have explained until now in this playlist. So this will include multiple sections. In the first section, I'm going to explain the master data. So we have the cost center master data, activity types, material master data, bill of material and routing. Then I'm going to move to the second section where I'm going to cover the cost planning. So we have the cost center cost element planning, activity type quantity planning, activity type output price calculation using the cost splitting structure and costing sheet creation for overheads. Then the last step, which is the standard cost estimate calculation for our product. I'm going to try to cover most of these transactions in both SAP GOI and SAP Fury. And I'm also going to leave you some links in the YouTube video where you can find how you can get access to an SAP S4HANA system that I am using for my demo. Also, how you can activate the SAP Fury interface and also the playlist of the product costing of manufactured items so you can understand the process before watching this demo. This is very important. All right, so now I'm going to start with the creation of the cost center. This you can find under accounting, controlling, cost center accounting, master data, cost center, individual processing, create. Or you can also create the cost centers from the standard hierarchy. As you remember, any company must have a standard hierarchy for cost centers. So you can either go here or you can go here. I usually prefer to create it in the standard hierarchy so I can select where the cost center is going to be. So I'm going to go to standard hierarchy change. Now this is the standard cost center hierarchy of our organization. As you see, it is in a tree format. So you have a high node, then single values, then another group, then other values, then another group. So for example, as you see here, this is the highest group we have. This one is called the standard hierarchy best practice. Then we have some cost centers. Then we have another group, and this group has another group inside. Then this has other groups, and this is very dynamic. So every organization can has uh, every organization can have a completely different standard cost center hierarchy, and it depends on the business requirements. Now, in my example, I'm going to use three cost centers. So I'm going to use one cost center for shared expenses, one cost center for administration, and another one for production. This is a very simple example, of course, but this will cover everything that I want to explain for now. So the, uh, the first one I'm going to create is the administration cost center. And this one I'm going to locate under finance and administration here. So I'm going to open this group. Then I'm going to go to create. So create cost center. Now the cost center, I'm going to give it the code of admin. 01 so this is going to be the number or the uh, unique code of our cost center then the name is going to be admin demo this cost center is going to be valid from 01 2019 then you can also add a description person responsible i'm going to make it galal now any field that has this check mark means that the field is mandatory see this so this is a, fan, a mandatory field. You cannot proceed un unless you put a value here. Cost center category is a very important field. It has many uses. So uh, if you open the available values, we have marketing, development, production, logistics, and then we have administration. So this one I'm going to keep as administration. And I'm going to hit enter. So for the organization, the company code I am using is 1710. You can also add a business area. Profit center is very important. Most of the time we would make it mandatory. It's not mandatory here, but always put a profit center inside the cost center. So I'm going to choose a profit center. 
let's see the available values here so I'm going to pick anyone so for example general accounting enter now this is all you have to maintain these are all the important fields you have to maintain for the cost center of course you can add a functional area a business area it all depends on the business requirement we also have very important fields here that we keep as is but for your information this is very important this is where I gave authorization to the cost center to receive some postings so for example here I'm saying that the cost center can accept the primary costs, can accept the plan costs, can accept secondary cost and the plan secondary cost, but you cannot post a revenue in the cost center. In some business cases, we would allow it to post an, a revenue in the cost center, but I'm not going to go into the details for now. But you have to know that this is very important, so you may have to use it one day. Now I'm done, so I'm going to save here. And this is it. So now we have our first cost center, which is admin demo. Now I'm going to create another one uh, for the shared expenses. So I'm going to also keep under the same group here. So I'm going to go again to create and select cost center. So this one I'm going to call shared 01 and also valid from 010 2019. And the description is shared expenses. Person responsible as Galal. Cost center category is the same. W. Organization. Also the same company code and the same profit center. Save. So now we have admin and shared. The last one I'm going to create is the production cost center. So the production I'm going to keep under the group. This one production operations. So I'm going to create a cost center again. This one I'm going to call PRD01 production. Also valid from 0101. Name is production demo. And the person responsible is also Galal. Cost center category. Cost center category for this one is going to be production or manufacturing. So this one, F. Now organization. So company code is 1710, functional area came by default as production. Profit center, I'm going to select a profit center for production to make it realistic. So product design, system corporate, uh, production, production line mounting crews. Let's select this one. Enter, and then I'm going to click on save. So now we have our three cost centers. So this is for the cost center master data. Now I'm going to create activity type master data. Now the activity type master data you can also find under cost centers, activity type. So cost center accounting, master data, activity type, individual processing, and then create. Now in my example, I'm going to create two activity types. So I have one activity type for machinery and another for labor. And every one of these activity types will have different costs assigned to them. So as I explained in the business process, for example, labor, I'm going to assign the wages, uh, expenses to the labor. And for machinery, I'm going to assign electricity, depreciation, and other expenses. And this we are going to see in the demo. So now the first activity type I'm going to create, I'm going to call uh, labor, L-A-B-O-R. All right. And this one is also valid from 0101. Again, you can copy from another activity type. So maybe we can do this. Let's select another active type. So for example, here there is one for manual assembly. Maybe we can use this one. So here. So I'm copying from another activity type, but I'm going to change the description. So the, here I'm going to call it labor. Um, this one is also only for assembly. So maybe labor assembly or just labor demo. And here labor demo and then the activity unit is ours because this is going to be measured by the time and the cost center category that can use this activity type is everything but you can change the cost center category here and 
put only the production cost center category, which means that only production cost centers can use this activity type. So this is what I'm going to do. So here, I'm going to select F. You can also select multiple values like this, but I'm also, I am only going to select the F and continue. Then we have activity type category, manual entry, manual allocation, uh, allocation cost element. All of these fields are very important. Uh, we have allocation cost element. Now, I'm not going to be able to explain everything in the demo. This will take a lot of time, and this will require its own dedicated demo. But for now, I'm only helping you to study SAP understand and understand more. So what I recommend is, uh, for any field that you want to know more details about, you can go and click F1. So press on F1 in the keyboard, or you can right-click and select Help. And SAP will display the Help library, where you can understand the meaning of this field as much as you can. Also, you can always use Google and SAP blogs. But for the easiest way to find information is to use the SAP help. So uh, it account uh, active type category is one, allocation cost element is this one, uh, price indicator one, I'm going to keep everything the same, and I'm going to click on save. So this is our first activity type for labor. Now I'm going to create another one for machinery. This one I'm going to call M-A-C-H. So M-A-C-H. And I'm going to copy from, let's see if we have any machinery. I'm going to copy from this one. Enter. So this one I'm going to call machine demo. Machine. So activity unit is also ours. Cost center category, I'm also going to keep it as only production. And I'm going to keep everything else the same. So active type category one, cost allocation cost element, price indicator. I'm going to keep everything. Now I'm going to click on save again. So now we have two cost centers. We have three cost centers and we have two activity types. Now I'm going to move to the material master data. So the product that we are going to create.